hello students this is Ahmed I'm just gonna show you how you can convert your collaboration or communication diagrams into code or how, how you can actually interpret them into code so uh, let's take a look at this um, slide number 34 it's basically showing you that you have three or ob four objects communicating which is um, object of um, object a which is an instance of class a then you have this object which is an instance of class b and then this is another instance of class c and an instance of class d so as you can see we have three four different objects right so because they are of different classes so we have to create all of these classes first so let's go and actually open NetBeans. I've already opened this NetBeans Studio, so I'm just, I'm just gonna create a new project. Just go to File and create new Java application. Okay, and um, can you press Next? And <coughs> I'm naming my project um, to be something like. Um, communication demo all right sounds good okay so there we go we have um, our main class right and NetBeans has created a package with the name communication demo so I'm so here in the tree you can see your Okay, this folder shows you that your packages and this folder actually contains all the packages, right? So right now it, it just it just has one package which is communication demo. And under this package it has created a main class with the main method, right? So here you see a main.java. So if you want to create further classes in this package, you have to right click and create new Java class here, just like that. <coughs> So as we know, we have, take a look, we have four different classes. So I'm going to create four different classes first, okay? So new Java class, let's call it class A. Then I have another one, call it. class B it should be under the same package and then I press finish then I create another one which is class let's call it class C finish and so finish and then we have another one class D there we go so now we have four different classes in this package and this is this one is the main class so we have five different classes here all right so here is the class a first okay so by default it has no constructor it's just a simple class all right so if you want to create your custom constructor you can create yourself um, let's go back to the slides so take a look here um, class A receives message 1 that means somewhere in the program um, one of its methods named message 1 is called right so uh, this class has to have a, a method named message 1 so let's let's go and create that public you can call it void all right there we go so we have a public method message one in class a um, let's go to now what about class B 
class B should receive message 2 and it should receive this message 5 right so an instance of class B should be able to receive two messages which is message 2 and message 5 that actually means that it should have two methods named message 2 and message 5 so let's go back to our code and create that So we call it public void message two, and I just copy this code and rename that to message five. By the way, let's do something like this: system dot out dot print line string and all right let's call it message to call print I will copy this and paste it here call it message 5 this is just so that we get to know when these methods get called we'll see these printout statements in the on our console so let's do the same thing with class a let's double click that and i just print the same thing in here call message one call by the way we can do it like this in In A, let's call this message one call in A, message two called in B, and similarly message five called in B as well. Save that. Now, what about class C? It's going to receive two messages message four and message three. So, take a look at this arrow. So, since this arrow is directed towards class C, so that um, this basically means it's, it's gonna this instance of class C will receive two messages message three and four. So we just follow the same thing and create message three and four inside class C. Like why, why don't I just copy this on? And the name was message three and message four. Since we are writing this code in class C, so I've changed this to C. So let's take a look at this instance. This one receives only one message, which is message six. So we, we basically do the same thing in class D. Go to class D, just paste the same code, rename the method to message six. In class D. All right, let's try building this project first to make sure everything is 